What's up? What are you going to talk about? Oh, so I happened to uh, come in this stream on the, sort of the trans debate, so I guess that's where uh, my head was. Um, yeah, so there are some, some disconnects in it for me, and maybe you can talk me through some of it. So the whole, the sex and gender thing you, being separate. Um, I can accept that. Um, so where do we draw the line between just an effeminate boy, someone who grew up with a bunch of sisters, likes playing with dolls, likes, um, likes traditionally feminine things, and therefore being you, a little bit of a feminine boy, where does that become, wh where do we draw the line to know that that person is actually a girl or a woman uh, they on the inside? You. They don't have to tell you. <clears throat> right? Like, if, if they, they would tell you, right? If they're just, like, an effeminate they, boy, if they never question sure. whether they're a boy, great, they're an effeminate boy. But if they say, hey, I might not feel like a boy, and that persists for, I mean, if it's, if we're talking about kids, are we talking about kids or adults? Uh, yeah, well, let's start with kids. Yeah, if it persists in a kid for longer than a month, I'd probably believe them, right? Because, like, as I, I assume you, you, if you don't have kids, you've been around children. They're really bad I, liars. Yes. I, <laughs> well, I, I have two kids. Also, they have very, very strong imaginations. Um, and, and I'm not saying it's, it's their imagination even necessarily. Here's the thing for me. So they're, it's a boy, very feminine boy, telling you he's a girl. Now, gosh, I lost my train of thought a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, so, so he, he says he's a girl, say you believe him, then why, so, you know, if you're, we're saying a trans person, it's, it's separate from your, your, your sex. So, first of all, here's the thing to me, a boy, how can he know he's a girl if he's never experienced being a girl? He, what, he doesn't what know is, what being what is a girl the, even feels like. What is the girl like. experience? Uh, the girl experience is, is <laughs> being a girl. So here's the thing. There's, there's male and female. That's, that we agree mm -hmm. on that. And then there's man and woman, boy, girl. And we're saying that's where the spectrum happens with the gender thing. So you're, you're an effeminate boy. And you feel like you're a girl. Even though you, you can't possibly know what that feels like. Because you, you haven't lived in a girl's body but you do feminine things so Wait, so but, well, so hold on. i would I, say I, you're I, a feminine I'm still boy asking what is the girl experience what does it mean what do you have the girl, to experience to be a girl well it, so i would say being a female that's what i would say being female it makes you have a so so what here's the mean? thing though i i'm with you that gender gender norms are socially constructed what girls like and what boys like now here's where it becomes an issue for me you take that kid who says I'm a girl, and you, and, and at, at some point, even even when they're older, I'm not talking about like when they're a kid. I'm not saying like they give hormones to kids, but but at some point, the goal is going to be to give this kid hormones, and then down the road, surgery, and change them to look more like a woman. You're not making them female. You're making them look more like a woman. Wait, I just. But I'm, I'm why sorry. would that I, I even? I feel like we're not. I feel like I'm not getting an answer to this question, and I feel like it's a really sorry, important go ahead. question. Sure. You, keep, you you say that like they don't know what it's like to experience being a girl, and then you're saying in order to be a girl, you have to be female. So I assume that there are some experiences related to your your physiological sex that you say you have to go through in order to be a girl. But there are some cis women who never experience those things. So how would they know what it's like to be a girl? So, so in my mind, I, I'm not separating the two, and I know you do, and I'm trying to be devil's advocate and, and saying, okay, sex and gender are separate. So, so my answer would be, you have to be female to know the girl experience. But what is that experience? I do believe that... <laughs> That's what I keep that asking, and that, and that doesn't well, get that answered, experience right? is, Are you saying in order to be a girl, you have to have a period? Because some girls don't get a period, so how would they know no. what... Are nope. you saying in order to be a girl, you have to be pregnant? Because some girls don't get pregnant. In order to be a girl, you have to have a vagina. Some girls don't have vaginas. In order to be a girl, you have to have a reproductive system. Some girls don't have that. What is this experience so, that they have to, that they all have to share in order to be a girl? That's, okay. I can't, I can't answer that. So I, I guess I'll have to move on from that question. So, so let's, let, uh, I'll, I'll move on to a different point. Why, why do you have to change yourself physically if mentally you know you're a girl, and we can, we can say, well, a trans person, like, you can have a, a trans man who, who never does surgery, never does hormones, he's still a girl or a woman, right? We can say that. 
if he says he's a woman and he believes he's a woman, then he doesn't need the hormones and the, the surgery, right? So, he's so he's still Just a FYI, trans woman. You don't need to medically transition in order to, yeah. to be trans, in order to express yourself in your identity. The people exactly. that medically transition tend to have gender dysphoria. So there yes. is a marketed distress between the gender that they identify as and the phenotypic representation of their sex. So it's not that they have an issue with their sex, right? They have an issue with the phenotypic representation, whatever that may be. So they just want to align that phenotypic representation with how they, how they perceive their gender identity and how they perceive their gender expression. That's it. Which is fine. That, that doesn't defeat the purpose, the the way that you are trans. It doesn't change the way that you identify. It's just aligning those phenotypical characteristics with your gender expression. I gotcha. That's that's fair. I mean, uh, hey man, you're 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 good at what you do, so you're hard to debate with. I'm uh, so um, you know, keep it up, and uh, we'll disagree. But um, but I I don't think I'm gonna convince you one way or another. So, uh, um, yeah, man, I'm not, Hey, no hate for anybody. I think everyone should be able to do what they want. I think where, uh, my issue is I, I do have kids and I think the, the ideology behind it all, where it becomes a, a norm and, and you have, you know, I've always known, always grown up. We all knew tomboys. We all knew girls that were, wanted to hang out with the boys, wanted to do more masculine things. And, and that's cool, and there's never any issue with that. Most of these kids go through puberty and end up being totally okay with being girls, even though at a young age they, they'd much rather be a boy and play with the boys and be fast and strong like them and, and do, do all the things boys do. Um, so, so in my mind, it's, it's a little bit of a social contagion. It's a little bit of, you know, you're telling these kids from a young age, oh, this is a totally normal thing. You can, you can be a girl, you can be a boy, it doesn't really matter. And it pushes them in a direction where they might end up doing irreparable harm to their bodies and so that's my concern uh so i'm, and, I'm just gonna um, say there's not anything someone can do in my opinion to push somebody into this right if that were the case we would see we would see a mass number of detransitioners which we don't we don't see a well, mass, we see we, some yeah we see some on the high end we see yeah. about three percent well, i but, i would push back on th- that and say that once you go down a road of changing your body to that extent. If you have taken hormones, you've done surgery, you, you're you not going to want, I mean, and this is complete human nature. I mean, people double down on things they do even when they know they're wrong. And you know what? The rates of depression and suicide don't change after transitioning yeah, at all. Wait, yes, they so do. So the research shows, yes, though, the research shows they okay, do can not. You provide you, me a study that differing... Can you provide me a study that says that they don't? I, I don't have it with me, man. Okay, but, uh, but I've done a lot of research right on this. right now that, per- that tell you that it does. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So obviously there are some conflicting studies. Um, Wait, there are no conflicting studies because there are no, no there, studies there, that, there aren't. There are no I don't studies have them in front that, of me. I don't have them in front they, of me. They so don't I, exist. It, you, you win this round because I don't have them in front of me. So, and I, I'm not going to waste your time trying to, trying to find it right now and pull them up. But, but they, I promise they do. So maybe add that to your research. Maybe maybe like I, I be have. devil's advocate and look for I the have. other side of the Do you think I don't because... look at other studies? I do. I, and I every know, day man, I maybe. do these things. If somebody provides me another study, I'll read it and look at it. But every time I ask somebody, oh, hey, can you show me evidence of what you're saying? They, can't, they never can. The, the studies well, don't exist. Well, typically people hop on a stream and, and they, you know, I, I immediately was just like, request and debate. So I didn't, I didn't do preparation for this. I've had so these conversations I, I, with people that do do prep. And they still can't okay. provide me a counter study that shows that Fair there enough. is no mental health benefit to transitioning because every study well, says otherwise. Okay. And I promise not every study does because people, I mean, I, I, I have done this research. I, again, don't have it in front of me. It was months ago. I, I okay. wouldn't I know will, where to look I will, at this I will, I, I will do this. Go get it and come back. <laughs> go, right. go, go look at it and come back. I'm not, you could come right back up. And if you have it, we'll, we'll continue. We'll continue the conversation. Okay. Okay. I'll do that, man. All right. Thank you. No problem. All right. Take it easy. Yeah.